ดูกขาเราเชื่อเลย
And what happens then is the, the, the ink that was on or the, pan, the product that's on the end of the needle is still there. So the next time you touch it, there'll be a little, that gets shot again. So uh, what you want to do, your finger, you always want to go forward before your finger goes up. And if, and if you have trouble with that, just leave it on. Leave the air on, don't ever shut it off. That's a really bad habit and a hard one to break, or so they say. So always forward before you go up. And this is what they call double action airbrush. This is about the only thing you can buy now, really. But uh, I use this in a, 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 a WADA a Eclipse. It's a good, standard, reasonably priced airbrush. Big questions? All right. I, Thanks, Rob. I just wanted to add a couple of things. Yeah, the, the freehand shields, if you get an airbrush, it'll add some confidence to what you're doing, too. Mm -hmm. So, one more time with the forward. Okay. All right. So, you're, so you're, to activate the brush, you go down from there. And, and as you start pulling your finger back, you're going to paint and paint more paint and it's tinting down. All right. So, but what happens, the bad thing people do is that they'll push it down. They'll start going back and get pain and they'll get to work from like, okay, I'm done with that, and they'll let go. And then the needle goes back forward, the air is shut off, and there's nothing that blew that last bit of pain off. So you hold your finger always wants to go forward and then up. And forward and up when you shut it off. If you don't, and a, and a good, uh, a good uh, lesson is take a piece of poster board, and as silly as it sounds, and after about 10 or 12 of you, I think I got it. Just draw a line, say, uh, 